Um, we now move to your colleague, to Anastasia, who I think is also in Lviv at, at the jam factory. I'm sorry we can't be with you there, but we'll we'll be there next year. I feel we should have the ArtsLink Assembly in Lviv next year. Um, Anastasia, uh, you worked very intensely on producing the document, so maybe it would be interesting for you to share then the process of creating this new strategy document. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Simon, for, for this introduction. It's a pleasure uh, for me to be here talking about the results of all the work that we've done throughout this year, uh, following up the, uh, last year's RSLink Assembly. Um, uh, actually, last year, when uh, CEC RSLink team uh, approached us, our team at the Ukrainian Institute with this proposal to join the create and organize the assembly focused on the future of Ukrainian culture. Uh, we immediately agreed on this cooperation um, uh, because it's a core theme that we have been actively working and discussing and thinking about within our team. Uh, and our decision to concentrate on people, on cultural actors, on art professionals and artists arose from our understanding that uh, uh, they play the crucial role in any transformative process within Ukrainian culture. And uh, leading up to this collaboration, we engaged uh, in numerous discussions with our international partners, just as Volodymyr had mentioned, uh, um, and uh, mm, their support for Ukrainian culture, both in Ukraine and abroad, often revealed uh, a lack of comprehension regarding the dynamics within Ukrainian cultural communities. Uh, this lack of understanding, uh, which we observed, uh, um, led them from, uh, hindered them from achieving their intended results of the programs that they have been programming. And uh, additionally, feedback from Ukrainian art professionals whether residing in Ukraine or currently relocated abroad after the full-scale invasion or having to live abroad for a longer period of time, also highlighted the challenges of inclusion and integration into the ongoing processes within Ukrainian culture. And um, to address uh, these specific issues, so we uh, invited a curatorial group uh, comprising diverse Ukrainian art professionals with different backgrounds from presenting different uh, institutions and practices. Uh, uh, so we invited Lia Dostleva, Andriy Dostlev, the curatorial group Open Place, uh, Julia Kostereva and Yuri Kruchak, Anna Gaidai, and also me, myself, and my colleague Maria Volchona from the Ukrainian Institute team uh, joined the curatorial group of uh, last year's ArtsLink Assembly. And uh, together we designed the program and uh, um, thinking about two primary objectives. So the first one was to receive uh, the request from cultural, um, cultural uh, professionals. Uh, and second was to showcase best case studies, best practices um, and formulating recommendations for international partners um, who are planning uh, programs in support of Ukrainian culture. And uh, currently, we are not even able to comprehend all the damage that Ukrainian culture has suffered due to the war. Um, however, um, even now, we uh, directly feel how the war revealed the unresolved problems of working conditions and the intellectual migration of cultural workers. Um, what had happened to all of us cultural workers since the beginning of war in 2014 and especially after the full-scale invasion of um, February last year. Um, some have left the country and we are glad that they and their families are safe. Um, and at the same time, uh, we also understand that uh, many people um, are um, staying in Ukraine and we are uh, also very um, 
and, and actually I'm, I'm one of those people who um, who is staying and working in Ukraine uh, and uh, many people are migrating uh, like nomadic cultural workers traveling uh, and, and living a very dynamic uh, dynamic cultural life taking part in activities both in Ukraine and internationally um, and uh, that's why uh, we uh, when talking about um, uh, building the infrastructure of Ukrainian intellectual field for us it was important to include voices of all of those um, artists uh, art professionals cultural actors and to um, uh, to unite their opinions in um, in one uh, one specific place, uh, so our first task was to document the requests uh, of uh, uh, art professionals and think about the ways to work with them. Think about uh, um, realistic and uh, uh, perfect idealistic scenarios. Um, and uh, um, the second task was uh, to talk about new opportunities for uh, interaction and involvement of Ukrainian workers in cooperation with each other, uh, to look for new forms of cooperation with the involvement of new foreign experience for some of the cultural community. And we uh, therefore invited leading representatives of uh, cultural community of different backgrounds, different levels and relations from different uh, regions. And with this different experience, we asked them to join the conversations uh, during uh, the three days of the assembly in Warsaw last year. Um, and when we are only planning the assembly, uh, we um, understood that discussions alone would not be efficient enough. Uh, and understanding this need uh, for um, uh, gathered experience in one place, we understood that a comprehensive document outlining key points from the conference um, would uh, uh, be a good solution. Uh, so we uh, started working on this strategic document, this report from the assembly, right immediately after after last year's assembly. Um, we uh, first we worked on the on the discussions and the key points that were raised by our colleagues uh, during their discussions, uh, and uh, also invited the uh, Ukrainian Analytic Center CEDAS. Uh, to uh, work with us on this document and to conduct uh, in-depth interviews with representatives of Ukrainian cultural communities from various backgrounds and institutions and to outline these crucial insights from uh, last year's assembly. And I'm really happy that today we can present this document. Uh, it's available in English and in Ukrainian languages. Uh, and um, I personally see it only as the beginning of a more profound and more extensive dialogue on uh, practices uh, that are aimed at fostering connections among Ukrainian cultural actors. Um, and um, while uh, primarily intended for international partners uh, um, seeking to engage with the international, with the Ukrainian cultural community, this document uh, might also be valuable for Ukrainians working within the country or internationally. And it also might be of interest for our international representatives, uh, for our international partners dealing with uh, challenges such as brain drain and lack of integration within cultural communities in their uh, in their own countries. So we believe that um, the contemporary challenges that Ukrainian culture is facing now demand uh, documentation and a wider discussion. And um, it is our hope that this document will serve as the beginning for further research and discourse uh, on this crucial topic um, leading to implementation of programs on different levels, governmental, institutional, and personal. And these initiatives can significantly contribute to keeping Ukrainian cultural professionals connected and actively involved in development of Ukrainian culture. So I am encouraging you to study this document and join us for further research and further discussions on this topic. 
Um, our plans for, for future include uh, presenting the results of this research internationally to our partners from whom we received uh, initial feedback and we understand that uh, this information might be very relevant for the activities, but also um, to include uh, these uh, discussions to uh, future conferences and congresses in which we uh, plan to take part uh, and to, to, to build uh, so that this document is only the beginning of a wider discussion that we might uh, um, have with all of you. So thank you for, for joining us uh, today and I'm really looking forward for the further discussion of, um, of my colleagues. Um, and uh, please uh, um, have a look at the document. It's available on our websites of the Ukrainian Institute and CEC Arts link. Uh, and we are really looking forward to receiving the feedback from you. Anastasia, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's been a long process and there's a lot more to do, of course. Uh,